before uh, each one of these so that I try to have my speech come from soul as opposed to ego or performing or um, my opinions. I'm trying to just keep it as close to my baseline conscious truth as I can, uh, though I'm sure uh, some ego will slip in there and feelings and things because that's what being a human being is all about. And this particular hustleutionary is an error right there. It's called revolutionary. I got so many, too many goddamn brand names. I can't even keep them straight. This vlog is called revolutionary to celebrate life while trying to change the planet to the maximum ability you can. And that starts here with me, with some palm trees, and you guys. Spread a little truth. Last year sucked bad. 2020 blew. I'm starting to think maybe the Mayans when they said the world was ending. In 2000, they were just like off by a couple twos and zeros, you know? Maybe we, maybe we misread them. But I think that epic darkness is what's going to precede, hopefully, the light. Um, it certainly seemed like a tipping point in society between the pandemic, political turmoil, just overall shitty feelings, angry people, illness. Personally, I caught COVID twice. I got COVID twice. Um, I didn't even speak on it yet because it was so fucking traumatic. <laughs> I, I, uh, the first time was in March. At the time, I was uh, dating a Chinese girl who lived in um, Queens, New York, and worked at a doctor's office there in Chinatown. And I was in L.A. for music stuff, and she wanted me to fly to see her on Valentine's Day from... LA into Chinatown, Queens, February 2020. Yeah, we'll call that bad timing. That's some bad timing. And I was hospitalized for one night for a clot. I ended up having two week bedridden pneumonia. Um, I had seizures for two or three months. Um, I had that post COVID long haul thing for four or five months on a steroid. Uh, trying to calm down the inflammation that was everywhere. My kidneys, my lung, my brain, I was twitching. I was Michael J. Fox and all the time from the sequelae from the virus. And uh, was also paranoid and freaked out all in. I probably went to the hospital like 14 times. Most of the time they said, you're cool, man. You're not dying, you're cool. You can take the rest of this from home. But it felt like that. Um, and then again, I had a small procedure in November and I had a, a much minor COVID that time um, 101 fever sweating through my clothes three times a day for five nights and the same headaches and brain fluff afterward so when I say minor it certainly wasn't pleasant either um, so for those of you out there I can say firsthand experience that shit sucks it's not like the flu it's like a software program trying to kill you any way it can and it's going to find all your weak spots for me I had asthma so it knew where to go um if you have kidney disease, it's going to start getting there. It's, it's a fucked up, fucked up, fucked up illness. I mean, it's a derivative of SARS. I mean, you, you know, it's, it's not fucking the flu. Um, and for the people who out there who say it ain't a big deal, a lot of those people I've seen are usually chain smoking. So when you got a guy chain smoking, 
uh, telling you, we, we don't need masks. It's like, yeah, dude, I'm, uh, I'm going to get my health advice from someone else. When I need to consult somebody on my lungs, I'm not going to talk to you, bud. And it goes in reverse. I have humility about what I'm not good at. If you want me to fix the electric in your house, I would burn your house down. So I don't know nothing about that. I will take your opinion. But Mr. Chainsmoker Electrician, when, you know, you tell me that I don't need a mask, I'm, I'm going to politely pass on your advice, okay? Um, yeah, weird. Weird. So weird. Still have, still a bit foggy from it, as you can tell. Um, and it took me to some deep places. Uh, I was depressed for a while because uh, it seemed like humanity turned dark. It was like, you know, everybody's fighting. There's almost a civil war, the pandemic. I'm sure everybody felt the exact same way. And and really the, the basis of the, uh, the depression was because I, I'm such a hopeful, optimistic dude. Like I, I love life. I love people. I love my path. I, I want to help everyone and create as much as I can and just grow in love and spirituality and then all of a sudden you know build this epic art catalog and then all of a sudden you know i look and i'm like maybe the earth's not even gonna be here because of us like we might I, like it, all this art i'm making is gonna get destroyed because we're gonna kill the planet and then all of a sudden you're like wow everything i do is purpose or <laughs> everything i do is purpose man eh, freudian slip but i slipped and i started thinking everything was pointless that's a dark nihilistic feeling and when you're looking at the way society is, there's no guidance there because everyone's acting like a bunch of dipshits. Part of me is like, we deserve to end our our existence. It's like, yeah, human beings, yeah, we deserve to go extinct. I mean, we're, we're not listening to the signs here. I mean, there's a global pandemic. There's more hurricanes than ever. Melted ice caps. Fires burning the West Coast. People killing each other over ideas. We're god-awful last year. We were god awful. Human beings sucked last year. We sucked. We failed. God gave us a test and we failed it. And so part of me was depressed like, all right, well, yeah, humanity deserves to be extinct because we fucking suck, man. Like the earth is the good guy. The earth is the good woman. You know, that thing should wipe us out and just keep on going. Or we learn from our mistakes and we start adapting not hating each other, not creating false divisions, listening to science, adapting, being more natural, cleaning our environment, using cleaner fuels. I was, I mean, I've always been for the climate and, and climate change, but like, it's like my obsession now. It's like, if we don't fix that, there's nothing else to fix. Like, we're all going to die. Like, there's going to be tidal waves that wipe us out and we're done like it's just we're done so let's let's change that <laughs> point one on the revolutionary to-do list and uh and let's spread more love let's spread more love because being nihilistic sucks being depressed sucks being angry sucks <sighs> so as you can tell this is almost a form of therapy right now for me <laughs> just admitting that and sometimes you got to do that. You got to speak your truth, even if it's ugly. And, uh, but I don't want to be like that. I want to have optimism. I want to have hope. I want to have love. I want to have joy. I want to believe in us. I want to believe in human beings that we can rally to this. And you're seeing a lot of positive signs that we are. There's a lot of great things changing fast. It seems like this really woke us up in a harsh way. So perhaps that was the universe in its infinite glory and honesty, being like, hey, hey, here's a little warm up. I might kill all you fuckers. But if you learn, I'll provide eating for you and tons of fruits and veggies and a place for you to make love and create art and talk to friends and family and grow children and to find human beings will make the future even better. And from there, I got hope again. Shaky hope shaky hope still a little covety you know what i mean but we'll get there i love you all this is the first of many 
I got tons more tunes coming too. I'm recording my 15th album right now and my 10th one's about to come out. Got a couple features on there, fingers crossed. That should give some noise finally because, uh, well, I record all the time and nobody gives a fuck still. Very few. And I'm working on a couple film scripts. I've got um, two long form movies, a, a one hour comedy special that's a visual comedy sketch special. It's kind of like a, the Chappelle show or like Auntie Donna or Sasha Barra Cohen, um, kind of like eclectic, weird Eric Andre kind of weird sketches about humanity. Um, it's called Call You for President. It's a satire. I don't want to be president. That shit sucks. Um, and like I said, I think everybody else sucks too currently. So I don't know. You know I, I wouldn't make a good president right now, but I'm a decent voice of, of people and things. And what do I know? I'm a shithead. I'm a doofus. I probably look crazy talking to you right now. Why am I talking into the phone when I got a beautiful beach here? Lady friend coming. Maybe I should just enjoy life. And maybe you think I'm crazy for even trying to tell you this or that these ambitions I have. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm on to something. Maybe I just need purpose to continue on. Love you all. Shit. I don't know shit. Right now, 76. Thinking. I don't know shit. I don't know shit.